I haven't really said a lot that much is that I am a big airplane nerd. I mean, if you want proof, just look at all the air flight games I own. And also, I op own this DVD, Military Combat, which includes both seasons of the History Channel show, Dogfights. And you really want proof? Yeah, um, that should say a lot. And on my off time, I like to design and build aircraft. Um, and here today I'm going to show you three aircraft that I built out of Legos from designs that I made. Well, I, two of them I take full credit for. One is just a model of something else. In any case, let's start off with the one that I did not design myself. So here is my Lego model of the um, uh, X-Tornado from, Son from Sonic X. Um, I actually rather like that show, and I rather like this aircraft, too. Um, it was, it's like one of my favorite um, cartoon jet designs ever. Um, well, that's not really saying a lot, because there's not much. But in any case, it is actually, I should not say one of that. I should say it's one of my favorite jet designs of all time, even against real jets. So what makes it so good is that you can see four. It has X-shaped wings, which can fold up, and it can transform. So we should... Um, get this um, well, aircraft carrier out of the way so I can demonstrate the functions. Alright, so here we have the X-Tornado, designed by Miles Perrow and Chuck Thorndike from Sonic X. Um, as you can see, um, it has um, canards, your wings, and then gigantic tailplanes. Um, well, I actually have a theory as to why. Um, it disperses the lift between two points, giving a little bit more balance, and also these back parts right here. But I noticed in the show that they were shaped to create lift on the underside, much as the X-46, which was one of those wingless aircraft. In any case, um, as you can see, it does have landing gear, and it can retract with just the use of some Lego hinges. And, just like in the show, you can deploy the X-Wings. And now, I bet some of you are wondering, why don't, they, why don't they just fold up like the X-Wing? Well, because if they folded up like this, you'd have to push two airfoils together, and they couldn't make a solid shape and still retain that nice curve on the, to curve on the top, flat on the bottom airfoil design. Of course, now in this mode, um, you can bring up the entire back section, like so, so you can use the rocket motor and fly into space. And in doing so, break off the back landing gear. Excuse me. It's Lego, and um, I really should have used better joints for this. I'll probably upgrade this the instant I'm done with this video. So, in this mode, you bring up the back. You can use the rocket motor. And if we were to put this back, now we have a back in normal cruising mode, in which you can fly around, shoot down. Aliens with the plasma cannon. Well, not aliens. Um, egg drones. So if we fold up the wings again, we can go into the X cyclone mode. Do that. Fold up the wings. Fold up the tail planes. And fold down the back segments and fold out the feet. And this mode was used in the show quite a bit. Uh, usually as a walker or sometimes just as vertical landing mode, but as you can see, it drastically reduces the length of the aircraft and can make it simply land in smaller spaces. And in this mode it is somewhat articulated, so you can have a walk. Which is always fun. And so I believe that pretty much concludes a look at the X tornado so we should probably move on to one that I actually designed now. And so here is my next design. This is something I designed myself. I don't quite remember the name for this one. I can't remember if it was the Black Tornado or Shadow Tornado or something like that, but it's basically a stealthy ground attack aircraft. As you can see, it's designed in a delta shape. Um, it's gonna, um, if it was real life, it would be extremely smooth, no seam, so it could absorb radar, be very stealthy, and if you notice under there, that's quite an underbelly. Yeah, that all down there is weapons. Everything else, engines, nav, um, Everything else is above the wing, underneath, all weapons. 
And just as before, the landing gear can retract, although this time it's just some hinges that I decided to use as landing gear. And as you can see, it's very sleek, very nice. Um, rails on the outside to mount arms. If the F-35 could do it and still be stealthy, this thing can do it too. So this is just something I designed I rather liked. I would show you the designs for it, except I cannot find that notebook. If I could find that notebook, I would show you in a heartbeat. Unfortunately, this is the best we can do. And so now, I think we should move on to the piece de resistance. My masterpiece. The F-38 Silver Tornado. You notice the theme with these names? Um, It's just... I swap in like this one a lot. And so here, this is my masterpiece. I spent quite a while designing this, going through a few different designs, and spent most of my afternoon building it. Yeah, and then the next, and then the whole next day, I spent just making it look good. Now, if you would like to see, um, this is my astronomy notebook, but in the back, um, I do have a few designs, um, if we can just find it. Yeah, um, this is, you can barely make it out, that was a draft of the F-38 that I didn't like, then I was calling it the F-18 Mark II, and a few other designs, um, I've, all rights go to me, I designed these, these are original, although they are inspired by actual world jets, the Dust Devil and the Black Shadow, and there we have it, this is my sketch of the aircraft. Yeah, F-38 Silver Tornado. Trademarked. And over here, as you can see, we have the internals of it and some notes on forward swept wings. And so we should probably get back to my aircraft.